This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can take logos and turn them into stickers using GIMP. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here in GIMP. By the way, if you'd like to know how you could update GIMP's appearance with this new interface and these icons, I'll have a link to that information in the description of the video. The first thing I want to do is just open up the, uh, the wood texture image that I'll be using. So I'll just go ahead and open that up. I have it right here. Let me shrink down this folder a little bit. I'll have a link to this texture in the uh, description of the video. I'm just going to click and drag that into GIMP. And I'm going to hold control and roll down the mouse wheel a few times to zoom out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a logo on top of this. For this tutorial, as an example, I'll be using the Spotify logo, but you could use any logo you'd like uh, as long as it's a .png file and it has a transparent background. So, Or you could even use text if you want to create some text or any other kind of design with a transparent background. Just go ahead and drop it into a GIMP like that. And I'm going to grab the scaling tool. Again, if you want to use this logo, I'll have a link to that on the, on, in the uh, description as well. Um, I'm going to grab the scaling tool. Click on that object and just grab one of these corners and hold control and scale that down. Put this towards the center of the page just to make that a little smaller like that. I'm going to grab the alignment tool. Click on the actual graphic and set the relative to. We want that set to image. And I'm just going to make sure it's centered up on the horizontal and vertical axis like that. And I'll go back to the move tool. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on this logo, on this logo's layer and go to uh, alpha to selection. And I'm going to create a new layer now. So I'll click on this button that says create a new layer and add it to the image. We're going to want to use transparency and I'm going to name this layer white. Go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to click and drag the white layer beneath the logo. And then I'll go to select, grow, and I'm going to use 40 pixels. I'm going to grow the selection by 40 pixels. Go ahead and click OK. And now I will go to Edit, Fill with Background Color. And it's going to fill it with white. By default, when you open up GIMP, you should have your foreground and your background set to black and white. If not, just go ahead and set that manually. And once we've done that, I'm going to create another layer. So I'm going to click on the uh, Create New Layer button again. And I'm going to name this one Drop Shadow. Go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to click and drag this beneath the white layer. Or you know what? I'm going to bring this to the top for now. And I'll go to Edit, Fill with Foreground Color. And then I'll go to Select, None. And then I'll go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I want to blur this by 15 pixels. So just go ahead and type in 15 for each of those and go ahead and click OK. And now with the Move tool, I'm just going to click and drag this down a little bit. I'm just going to hold control to lock it onto the vertical axis. So I'm going to bring it down about that far. And then I'll just click and drag that layer beneath the white layer like that. And I'm actually going to zoom in and bring that up a little more. To zoom in, I'm just holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. I'm just going to bring that up a little more like that. That looks pretty good. I'll bring the opacity of that down and touch maybe about to like 80, something like that. Looks pretty good. And once we've done that, I'm going to right click, I'm going to actually, I'm going to select the, the uh, Spotify logo layer and then right click it and go to merge down and then right click that next layer and go to merge down so that everything is on one layer here like this. And then I'm just going to rename this to sticker, just sticker. And then we'll go to layer, auto crop layer. And then we have that. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the move tool. I'm just going to bring this up here like this. I'm going to hold control to lock it onto the vertical axis like that. And I'm going to duplicate that layer by clicking the button that says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. Click and drag that down here. Hold control to lock it onto the vertical axis. And I'm going to duplicate that again. So go ahead and click that duplicate layer button again. And once we've done that, I'm going to grab the rotate tool and I'm just going to click and drag this to the left. Actually, no, to the, uh, clockwise to the right a little bit like that. Go ahead and click rotate. I'll duplicate that layer. Rotate that around a little bit. Same direction. Click rotate. And I'll duplicate it one more time. And this one I'll rotate back around with a slight slant going to the left like that. And I'll grab the move tool and I'll just position this over here. Maybe over here like that. So it kind of looks like it's like a stack or like a pile of stickers like that. And what I'm going to do up here, let's click on the original sticker layer. I'm going to create a peel effect to make it look like the sticker is being peeled from the surface. So to do that, 
I'm going to grab the uh, the paths tool and I'm going to put a point right out here to the left and then come up here and put a point to the top right so that there's a line going straight through that portion right there because that's the portion we're going to turn into a peel and then just create points going around the outside and then connect it back to the starting point by holding control and then clicking on the starting point. And what you can do is press enter to create a new selection from that. And I'm going to right click on that selection and go to select float. And once we've floated that selection, I'm going to right click on the floating selection layer and go to to new layer. And that's going to create a new layer out of that segment. So let me go to the rotate tool and I'm going to take this layer and I'm just going to rotate it around. I'm going to hold control to lock it onto, uh, I think it's 180 degree increments like that. Rotate it around like that, about 180 degrees. If you want to rotate at 180 degrees, go ahead and click rotate. And I'm going to grab the move tool and just position this right over here. You might want to zoom in on it so you can see it better. I'm going to position this right. I'm going to like match up the corners like that. And once we've done that, I'm going to right click on that layer and go to alpha to selection. And I'm going to go to the blend tool. And again, we want to make sure we have black as the foreground, white as the background. For the gradient, we want foreground to background. If you don't have that, just go ahead and choose it from the drop down over here. And once we've done that, I'm just going to click and drag to create a little line going through there like that. So we end up with a little bit of a, I guess it's like the back of the sticker. I'm going to undo that. You could hit control Z if you don't like how it came out and try again. There we go. That looks pretty good like that. And I'm going to create another new layer. Uh, I'm going to click the button that says create a new layer and edit to the image. Again, transparency. And this one, we're going to go to edit, fill with foreground color, and then select none. And once we've done that, we'll go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And again, we'll give that a 15 point blur. Grab the move tool. I'll bring this over here a little bit. And then I'll just click and drag this beneath. The, the, the layer beneath it so that it's it looks like the peel sticker part is casting a little bit of a shadow. You could bring down the opacity a little bit if you'd like. And that should pretty much do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating uh, logo stickers using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.